Yes? Hello, Mr. James. Yes, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. We're, uh, if it is fine. No, that will be necessary. Yes, that's correct. Yes, yes. Yes, we are hoping to finish it by next week. Wait, you want it this week? Sure, sure, I'll see to it that Mike uh, gives it on time, all right? All right, sir, you too, thank you. Hey, boss. Oh, good morning, Bill. I was wondering if I could get an extension on that deadline. Bill, we talked about this. I know, I know, but Lorraine, she's ready to pop any day now, and she wanted zucchini at 1 a.m., so I was in the store with one piece of zucchini, and it was making me kind of, you know. All oh, right, all right, but just give it to me tomorrow, all right? Thanks, boss. No problem. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Pam. I just got off the phone with Mr. James. He wants to report me this week. Oh, okay. Is Mike in yet? Uh, I haven't seen him. But I can tell him that you're looking for him. Cool, cool, thank okay. you. <clears throat> so, uh, Ashley called. She's feeling a little under the weather still. All right. All right. And uh, Sam asked if he can leave early for his son's game. Uh, as long as... Fine, not earlier than three, all right? Oh, he, uh, he asked for two. 2.30, two thirty. Okay, great. And, uh, um, uh, what? Sorry, uh, I applied for the manager position at the Utica branch, and, and I was wondering if I could uh, use you as a reference. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, great, great. Thank you so much. Anytime, right. anytime. <laughs> Did Mike call out? No. But he's not here. I haven't seen him, no. Jean, how's it going? Uh, it's going. I can see that. Uh, you seen Mike around? No, why? Oh, it's about last quarter's revenue report. It's due this week. Oh, oh, right, right, right. No, I haven't seen him around today. Okay, okay. How about you? You all right? Yeah, just tired. Can't sleep? No, uh, Ben flew to Portland on a business trip. Spent the whole night on the phone. Oh, did they ever get the promotion? No, but fingers crossed this trip will do it. And how long is he gone? Four days. He gets back tomorrow. I see, I see. Well, no. give me my regards, all right? Will do. Hey, boss. Hey, man. You see Mike around? No. No, he's out of the office. He hasn't called out. Maybe he's running late? Oh, yeah. He's running late, all right. All right. Anyway, thanks. Did something happen? Oh, no. It's just a uh, last quarter's revenue report. Mr. James wants it by this week. It's not very far from now. Tell me about it. It's not trying to get a hold of Mike. Of all the times to be absent. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. You know what? I'm close to doing it myself, you know? That makes sense. You were the previous head of sales. How's it feel to be branch manager? After six months? Still trying to figure it out. Honestly, I thought Mike would get it. I thought so as well, but after working with Mike last quarter, 
I see why Mr. James chose you. Really? Why so? Mike can be uh, uptight sometimes. Over the top. Gets in his head. You don't want that in the manager. Hmm. I didn't see that. That's because you see the good in people. And that's why everyone approves of you as a manager. Well, I'm happy everyone thinks that. All right, dude, I'll uh, get this personal phone. Hey, take it easy, boss. Thank you. Hey, Mike, it's Fred. I received your email and we need to talk. Call me when you get this, okay? Hey, Mike, uh, Mr. James wants the report by this week, okay? Hey, Mike, uh, it's me again. Please pick up the phone. Just please pick up the phone, okay? Hello, Mike. It's me again, Fred. Come on, man. He's not going to be happy. Let's talk this over, okay? Hey, Mike, it's Fred again. Um, listen, Mr. James wants to report by this week, okay? He wants to report by this week, so please pick up, okay? Hey, Fred. Long day? Kind of. Oh, I heard about the report. Heard from Mike yet? No, voicemail. Ask Mike for you. Hey, thanks for letting me leave early today, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, what grade's your son? Fourth grade. They grow so fast. Well, the next thing you know, it's scholarship and SATs, man. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> he hasn't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you worked with Mike before, right? Has he ever called out? Uh, yeah, from time to time, but uh, he would stay late sometimes, so it was kind of like a give and take. Really? Yeah. He's intense. Oh, that's what it takes to be head of sales, I guess. Oh, that's right. You were the head of sales before you got promoted. I think you did a better job than Mike, though. Really? Why so? I don't know. Mike just kind of does whatever it takes to get a sale. Him and Andy. Andy? Yeah, um, most of the clients me and Gene got were from Andy's line. Well, I heard they did a good job. Yeah, double their clientele. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Mr. James will be pleased with the report, even though it's late. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, look, I don't mean to hold you up. I'm gonna go now. Good night. All right, okay. Sam. Oh, shit, Sam. Your hat. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Good night. Good night.
Michael. Please leave a message. Hey Mike, it's a uh, friend. Wherever you are, can you please call me back? It's an emergency, okay? It's me. Where are you? I'm still at the office. Again. I'm s I know, I'm sorry, baby. Something's come up. How was your day? It wasn't bad. Found a buyer for the Docker Street property. That's good. Yeah. Lovely couple. Do they look like they'll close? I hope so. It'll look good for my portfolio. Well, you have other leads, right? Yeah, but sooner or later you need to make a sale. Right, right. Are you heading home? Fred. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still Come here. home, baby. something and I don't even understand it myself. It's that serious, huh? The things you do for that company. Listen, you'll make it work. I know you will. Thanks, Annie. I love you. I love you too, baby. Now do what you gotta do and don't make me eat another dinner alone. Hey, once I get back, I'll make you something, all right? Go back to bed. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's almost 12. Listen, Jean, I need to talk to you. Can't it wait until morning? It's urgent. It's about last quarter's revenue report. Uh, I was doing it and p things didn't add up. Last people who signed it were you and Mike. So you think I had something to do with this? I don't. I just want to You see just want to what, Fred? Accuse me of something? Jean, half the money's missing. And you think I had something to do with it? I don't. I just want to figure it out. Don't you think it's a bit convenient that Mike gave his resignation letter? Wait, Mike resigned? Yes, by email. That's why I was trying to get a hold of him. Have you tried his personal number? He's not picking up. I don't know what to do, Fred. You're the last thing you contacts, right? Do you notice, did you notice anything off? Anything weird? Anything different? No. Because some numbers in the revenue report have like two contacts on them. Really? Yeah, and there's half of our account's missing. Wait, do you think that Mike ran, ran off? Ran off with the money? That's what it looks like. I think you need to talk to Mike. Maybe he can shed a light on things. Hmm. Uh, he better still be here. All right, Jean. I'm sorry to bother you this time, there. Ha, you're always welcome, Fred. What is it? Is it that... Oh, no. 
What the fuck? Fred, I can explain. Fred, calm this isn't down. an explanation. What the fuck are you guys thinking? Fred, please just lower your voice and have a seat. I try to be a good boss and this is what I get? Calm down. Why should I, huh? You both know inter office relations are prohibited. No, we know. And what's worse, you're married! Fred, please just have a seat. We didn't want you to find out like this. Freddy, we just happened. Yeah, we, we worked together in the office and things just, just went the way they went. Look, we fell in love. How long has it been going on? A, a year, a year and a half. Nah, it's been about that long. A year and my cubicle was next to yours. You're always so busy with work. And that's probably why you never noticed. If Mr. James found out yeah, about this. We get that. And that's why we were kind of hoping you wouldn't say anything. Yeah, Fred, please. All right, who else knows? What? Uh, there's something we should tell you. Yeah, look, man. Um, who else knows? Mike. Mike knows? Look, he caught us at work one day kissing. And then blackmailed us. For what? The missing half of the money. We know about it. Because we helped him do it. Wait, wait. You told me earlier you, don't, you know nothing about that. Fred. I lied. That's it? You lied? Shh. Keep your voice. Was it thing with Akita been real? Of course or I just was. bullshitting like Look, everyone when it comes else? Look, to my kid, I don't bullshit. Fred, Mike came at us and threatened to have us fired if we didn't do what he asked. We had no choice. How can I believe you now? Just stay calm and we'll tell you. Would you like some tea? No, I don't like some tea. Just tell me already. All right. You know how the flow works, right? Yeah. The contacts are getting forwarded by the broker to the head of sales, right? That's the first thing that happens, right? And once the head of sales finalizes everything, then the contact is forwarded to us. So I finalize the forms, Jean signs them, and then she'll email the clients if there's any more documentation needed. So Mike, he... Well, once he gets a new client, he creates a fake account and has the original client pay for both. So then some months we get two folders with one contact. And Sam will make fraudulent files and I forge the signatures. So then the monthly comes in, the contact pays it, and half the money goes into an account only Mike has access to. How long has this been going on? Three months. Yeah, just for that last quarter. I don't know. I don't know how to fucking do this. No one does. But you have carried that office for a long time, Fred, even before they made it. I just don't understand how this happens, okay? I do my best. I try to be the best boss, okay? I respect everyone's wishes. I really said it deadline. And that's why we liked you as manager, because you knew what to do in difficult situations. You keep things moving ahead, in spite of the things that we do wrong. We knew that you would always be there to fix things when we screw up. I do all those things. Yes. Dotting I's and crossing T's, and all the way ensuring everyone's comfortable. And that's what happened. Everyone's comfortable. No one's charged with extra work, no one pulls extra weight, and if something happens, I'm there to fix it. No wonder Mike was able to pull this oh, off. Oh, that's not And that's why you guys didn't go me. Because you thought you could pull this off. You know what? I feel taken advantage though. Every day, every day since I became manager, I went to that office just to fix a bullshit everyone does. You know how many times I've seen my wife this week? Once, I 
seen her once of the three days I'm in the office fixing the bullshit everyone does. You know what, this ends tonight. Wait, where are you going? I'll fix this, like I always do. Hello, boss. What are you doing here? Where's Mike? I shouldn't be here. Andy? Where's Mike? Mike is none of your concern. What did you do? Andy, what did you do? From the way you came in, I suspect you know what Mike did. Yeah, Sam and Jean told me. How do you know? Mike came to me one day, asked for a favor. Asked me to sign a document for a contact I didn't know. Did you sign it? I didn't. But I wondered what was that about. Then I found fake folders. He denied it at first, but I could tell he had something to do with it. So I pushed him even more. Then one day, he threatened to kill me if I tell anyone. So you killed him first? It wasn't easy. The wife got in the middle. Andy! Why? I'm thinking of taking over. Mike was greedy and impulsive. Big lapse in judgment there. And frankly, the guy was a dick. Don't do this, man. We can still figure this out. Yeah? Yeah, I know. I'm disappointed that you came here, Fred. I liked you as a manager. People finally got the work-life balance they wanted. Which makes this harder. Because I don't know how the office will operate without you. Don't worry. I'll see you too that everyone's taking care of.
Should I get help? Do you... Fred, um... Mr. James called. He said that he won't be able to make it in today. He was asking about the report. He just wants to know if it's finished. <laughs>